Just give me a moment, let this uh, dinosaur pass. No meat over here for you. Smile to gender! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. There are five daily salahs which are a must for every Muslim. To miss one of these salahs without a proper excuse is a major sin. We don't pray because Allah needs our prayers. <laughs> oh no 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 silly boy. He is independent of anyone and anything. Yet we pray because, well, he deserves it. It's our form of gratitude to him. But sadly, there are still people who don't pray. Excuse number one, I don't have to pray because I have a clean heart. Well, if that was the case, then no one's heart was cleaner than the heart of the Prophet So that's out the window. And then the elephant and the pirate are <laughs> Oh man, that was, that was so funny. I can stop laughing. Done, what time is it anyway? Oh, it's Maghrib. Come, let's, let's go pray Maghrib, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a good Muslim. I don't pray. Heart is too clean. But pray for me, yes, pray for me. Bro, I can't pray for you, but I can make dua for you. Alright, alright, you do that man, you do that. I'll be here, I'll be here. <laughs> I'm a good Muslim man, good Muslim. You can go. Excuse number two, fear of being called a sheikh, Molvi or a religious person. Why do we care what people think when it comes to good? Why would we spoil our hereafter just because of what someone else thinks? They go to their grave and you go to your grave. Plus, you never know, because of you praying, you may give courage to someone else to do the same. I know, I'm a Reds fan. I'm just going to go pray my salah, isn't it? Oh, check this guy out, he's on his date, man. Check him out. He's got a tortilla and everything, man. He touched me, touched me. Uh, you know, chefs, they always, they always pray on time. Look, just, just because I'm <laughs> praying doesn't mean Forget I'm so sure. He's going to be praying all his sundas and knuckles and everything, man. Couple of hours at least. Like, come on, guys, man. It doesn't oh, come mean... on, chef, man. Accept me as your student, innit? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Just because I'm praying doesn't mean I'm some sort of chef, man. Come oh, on, man. man. Don't be a mood, innit? Excuse number three, being impure. Nowadays, people have become very comfortable with this excuse of, Oh, I'm not pure. Why would you feel the need to tell me that? The state of major impurity is not a nice state to be in. So if you are in that state, then have a bath as soon as possible. ASAP. So Monty went one way and Monty went the other way. <laughs> uh, you don't get the joke, do you? Yeah. Anyway, let's go for Zara, man. Let's go. Uh, brother, I can't in it. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I'm, I'm not. I'm not pure in it. What? I'm not pure. What does that mean? Uh, I was sleeping. I had a bit of an accident. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Go and have a bath, isn't it? <laughs> you filthy animal. That's no excuse. Disgusting. Excuse number four. Allah hasn't given me anything. If we had billions of pounds, yet Allah took away our eyesight, we'd be willing to give everything that we had just to get that one blessing of eyesight back. Yet Allah has given us eyesight for free amongst countless other blessings. Yet look how ungrateful we can be. Why do I need to pray? Allah hasn't given me anything. Absolutely nothing. Is everything to your satisfaction, sir? Shut it. I'm having a moment here. Here, go, go get me some tea or something. I think it's change. Excuse number five. I sin too much. Now this is a biggie. Yeah. Many people think that they're too sinful to pray. So they feel ashamed and think that they won't be forgiven. No. When a person becomes dirty, he doesn't say, Oh, I'm not going to have a bath because, well, I'm going to get dirty again. Well, it doesn't matter how many times you get dirty. You keep having that bath and then you become clean. So if you don't know what I mean, here's an example. <sighs> Bro, go have a huh? bath. Or, go have a bath or something, man. I'm too dirty to have a bath. Plus, I'll get dirty again, isn't it? So 
go have a bath again. Wait, if I get dirty again? Then take it again. That's a good point. Can't argue with your logic, man. Can't argue with your logic. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, man. Oh, dude, I can taste that. What on earth, man? Excuse number six, being pressured to pray as a child. Anything that you do because you yourself want to do is more likely to be continued. So if you were pressured to pray when you were young, it may not last when you become older. So you need that why back. Why should I pray? And it shouldn't be to make your parents happy or to avoid a beating, but it should be because Allah deserves it. Oh, yes, beta, son, how are you? I was going to say, can I go bowling with my friends? Bowling? Yeah, bowling. What are you going to do bowling? What's the point of that? Just have the fun. Drop and give me two rakats. Get on the prayer mat. Ah, you read that Fatiha. Alham Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Good, 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 good. You'll be pious soon, my son. You'll be pious soon. Now, there are many other reasons that sadly people don't pray. Now, the bottom line is we have to get over these hurdles and return back to Allah because, well, He's waiting for us. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this easy for you. Pray all his knuckles, all his sunnahs, and everything, man. Two hours and all of that. Oh man. You guys are killing me. Oh, oh. You guys are bugging me. Right? Oh. <laughs> Come, bro. Alright. Is everything to your shut, shut, shut. shut it? Shut it. Speak properly. <laughs> Get your words out right. Come, Come, Then a sorot and now that then a sorot and If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, keep supporting. Jazakallah khair for all your support, all your comments, all your wonderful, wonderful words of encouragement. Don't forget, smile to Jannah.